Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Connie. I'm going to be doing a paper piecing and I thought I would hop on and share with you what I'm doing. I'm working on one of the ghosts from the Cuddly Cute Designs Ghosts in Disguise file. So I'm just going to go ahead. I've got all of my pieces inked. Uh, before I start putting them together this time, I am going to do my highlighting on my two ghost pieces just because some of the pieces may have some uh, what is it the little black these little black things going over it so I don't know what they're called but uh, I just want to get this done first it's easier don't know how much chalk I have on here so I'm trying to be a little bit careful I am trying to get some videos done it's just been well it just really kind of cooled off a little bit but um also having some ongoing health issues so I'm just fighting with that but it will get better now if you have any questions always please leave a comment I'll get back to you um, I don't share how I do my inking and stuff. I, if you guys want to see that, you know, leave a comment. It's just, I don't because it can take sometimes a little while to do. But if you want to see how I do it and stuff and get more information, I know everybody does it different. Don't get me wrong. So, but yeah, just let me know. Uh, sorry, I should tell you, this is so well, you can't see it now, but it's titanium white pan pastels that I'm using on here, and then I use a brush sticks, I imagine. I don't know if these are available, and I forget. Um, Cherie from Paper Pieces and Leftovers had a link, I think, to some on Amazon, possibly. I'm not sure. Well, I thought I had everything, but I didn't. But anyway, um, yeah, you'd want to maybe check with, check out. I apologize. I just didn't go back and check because I might have to possibly get some more. Just doing a lighter pink this time on the cheeks. Sometimes I even do, I've got a green color, I'll even do. But, just gonna go with pink for now. But I have a dark green in here that sometimes works too, depending upon what I'm making. Okay, let me try. I'm gonna go ahead and put his head on and then I'll just work from there and I'm gonna put his head hopefully at an angle hopefully it will stay for me I say hopefully because sometimes it moves and I put head <laughs> gee I put glue on the head also just to um, kind of hold it down so it doesn't wiggle so bad that's the only reason it just holds it right here at the bottom. Okay, I put this little screws or whatever they're called. And they go right, right on the bottom part of his cheek there. I think these are so cute. 
Uh, let's see, I'm going to put these black pieces on now and make it a little easier. Other than the one on the head, I'm not going to put that on yet. I have a specific purpose for these. Um, if you're not aware, I'm on the Cuddly Cute Designs design team. So these will be, my project will be coming up, let's see, 9th, it would be next week. What is that, the 16th? I post on Tuesdays. But I was going to share with you how I put these together. And there are four of them in the design or in the file. I will come on and put all four together. And I'll just do separate videos. It just, it's easier if they're quicker. And I'm sure for you guys too, it's probably less boring. I'm just putting those on kind of how I think, so. The mouth I drew on with the pen, used the uh, Cricut to do that. Um, I'm finally learning. I looked at the file really close. I have a struggle getting the mouth, you know, the right size. Well, this one I looked and the mouth is just slightly bigger than the nose, which I'm getting better at that. I have an old file and I don't know which one I used. It's an old gingerbread file and there was a PNG file with it yet. So you could take away the majority of it, but keep the mouth and that that's what I did. I um, I can't draw a mouth straight. And then I think if I remember correctly, I have a, yeah, I have a file from, um, oh, just trying to figure out here. I got the glue on, now we'll go with it. Uh, I'm trying to think. Peachy Keen, dis, uh, Peachy Keen stamps, and they have some digital files. I got a mouth set from there too, which works. I had glued my eyes on previously. Just trying to make sure I'm in frame here. So if I move this, I'm sorry if I wasn't a little bit. Um, the nose is not glued on yet. I, I just kind of put it there just so I kind of have an idea of where I'm putting my eyes. And now I'm gonna hold this up and make sure it's somewhat where I want it. Okay. Put work on those. Just trying to get the lid on the glue. For some reason, can't get my eyes to focus this morning. Okay, now I'm using the black pan pastels. I wasn't aware I've had these for I don't know how long years. I didn't know there was a dark, dark gray available. I just don't look for that. So um, I, at some point I might switch. I just, I use what I have truly. I, I just um, can't buy a lot of extra. So I make do. I apologize, I see my, or I can hear my neighbor has his TV fairly loud, so hopefully you can't hear that. Sorry about that if you can. Now I'll come back and fix his eyes in a moment. I just blow off the excess chalk, so. You wonder what I'm doing there. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more on this side. If I can get it just a little darker. These uh, little brush things, I don't know what they're called. Uh, 
watching Sheree's channel, I get information on all the uh, fun tools and stuff she uses. I don't get to shop, so I really appreciate seeing what new tools are that work. And I do really like that over a paintbrush. I've been using a paintbrush for a long time, and I would have continued my paintbrush and second one had finally died though. It was just getting really bad. And happened to see these, so I thought, oh, I'm gonna try them. I get a lot of compliments on my eyes, and like I've told so many people, I I had the opportunity when I was working at a call center in between calls, uh, and then when I worked nights, I could practice my eyes, my eyelashes, and so it took a lot, but I personally start short and long, short, long, short, long. It's just a matter of flicking. I do straight eyelashes. I do not do curved eyelashes. I've tried that multiple times. Forget it. It's not for me. Sorry, but I just can't manage it. Put some glue on his nose. And maybe get it straight. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave that because I'll be just a moment. I've seen people struggle with their gel pens. If this is just what I do, if it doesn't work well, wet just the end of the tip and I seem to have absolutely no problem. I don't know if the tip gets dried out or what happens, but it works perfectly fine for me. Now I can't have my head right on top of my piece, so I'm just, that's usually what I have to do. I try very hard to get the whites um, Bear with me a moment, I don't know what I just did, but... Oh, I thought I lost everything on my design space, design space page and I was in a panic. Anyway, I try to get my eyes, the whites, straight. Uh, not well straight across, but also so they're even size as, as much as possible. They sound kind of crazy, but it's just what I like to do. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the white to dry a little bit further. Work on these pieces. I can get the uh, black piece put on his head. I was trying to grab it here with my tweezers. The color I used for my um, little ghost is an apple green color if anyone is interested and I use Stampin' Up inks for my inking just because that's what I've had for ever make sure that's straight okay now this piece should have three holes in it. I took them out, excuse me. I took them out when I 
made this because I'm going to use either of these two Nouveau drops, probably the glitter one, to put on there instead. Uh, it was just a preference that I chose to do. You can cut them in and then you would see this lighter color from the back. Now this piece, also doing something else so with it, but it goes over to the side, okay, to one side. I'm going to put this little hand on Got just a dab of glue up there this piece should go like this but um, well I'm going to put it on but I can't put the other hand on how about that Let's see, just get the glue on the right side. I think I did, yeah, okay. What I'm going to do first, before I put the hand on, is put some glossy accents on. Once that dries, then I will put my Nouveau drops on. So I'll try to remember to share a final picture at the end. But I'm going to get some finish my white chalk here. Some of this nose, maybe. Either I have too much or not enough. Isn't that just the way it goes? Put some in his eyes. Okay. And then, excuse my reach. I usually put at least two layers of glossy accents, uh, depending upon how thick I get it. And I'm having a hard time seeing what I'm doing here because it's uh, far enough away. This is completely optional if you put that on or not. And I'm sure you can't see it on the camera because I can barely see it here now. It's got to, let's see find the home for that it has to dry and yeah but then what you would do once that was done you would put the hand on like this and again I will put I don't know yet I'll have to put it on paper if I'm going to use the this is crushed grape this is not glitter this is sugar plum this is glitter i'm thinking it's going to be the glittered one but we'll see but i will show a final photo but that is my piece so far when i get the next three cut i'll come back and share those with you otherwise thanks for joining me today have an awesome day take care everybody